Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again with yet another TMNT video. And thanks to my friends over at Playmates Toys, we're going to be checking out their brand new Walmart exclusive line for their retro series, the Pizza Toss and Turtles. Now, it's no surprise that Playmates has done lots of these retro re-releases thus far. And the fact that they did these is wild to me, especially now as an adult going back and going, why didn't I have these as a kid? But now I can enjoy them. Now, a little bit of a recreation of the original packaging, little things here and there, different artwork for the most part, but the nostalgia remains the same, which, hey, I'm sure that's what Playmates is a going for. On the back of the packaging, awesome. Awesome layout. Very much the epitome of everything you're going to be doing with these pizza. And that's what the Ninja Turtles are known for. But keep in mind, there's only three turtles in this line, unfortunately, as of right now. You get all the accessories, the photos, what he comes with, what exactly Michelangelo and the other turtles do, which is nice to see. And you can read up on the cheese chugging champ. Here's the barcode. These are Walmart exclusive only. All three Walmart exclusive. Leonardo, no different. The garlicky wedge whirling wonder. See? It's the alliterations. That's what gets me, right? Very cool. And again, you can read up on him and Raphael as well. Raphael kind of stands out in this line. I very much appreciate that. Of course, Raphael being the sewer serving the sauce master. And I'm definitely one that likes a little extra sauce on his pizza. But you're probably wondering, where the heck is Donatello? Well, Kind of remains to be seen. Hopefully, Donatello shows up at a later date, as with some of the more modern retro re-releases that Playmates has been doing. It's kind of odd, but there's always like one turtle on the odd man out. But in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe grab yourself a slice or two of the old cheese. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive retro TMNT line, the Pizza Toss and Turtles, Leo, Mikey, and Raph. By Playmates Toys. And while I got all you dough tossers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my TMNT videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Well, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. We talk about a lot of Ninja Turtles. Not gonna lie. Let's jump right into it. Here's everything out of the packaging. All three turtles and all the accessories. I don't know why I didn't have these as a kid. I absolutely love these. These are fantastic and so much dang fun. Now, kicking it off with Michelangelo, he comes with a bunch of different wacko accessories. This is his cheese grating power pistol. Of course, right? It's all clad in red, but you see the cheese. You get to see the little holes and stuff where the cheese is going to come out. And you do get his mozzarella nunchucks this time around. Go very easy with the chain. Again, much in the vein of the old Ninja Turtles and such. You don't want to stress the plastic too much and then you have six pizzas and throughout the turtles they're all the same they have a sticker on them you got pepperoni and you got some mushrooms on them but you get six total so after playing with these things if you're down to four or five pizzas just know yes you are missing a couple but they're pretty straightforward little discs and i'll show you exactly what they do because michelangelo the sculpts on these turtles is what makes these figures these are cool. They remind me of the old artwork, like Rat Fink. And a little bit of the artwork from the old Archie series, right? When guest artists would do the specials and whatnot. But I love that he's chowing down on a giant slice of pizza. He's got these big old Homer Simpson eyes. He's got this big cannon on the front of him that's going to fire a bunch of pizzas. So it's like a Ninja Turtle and a pizza thrower all in one. The paint could have been a little bit better, I will say. Some of the paint on these things gets a little bit rough. On the back right here, attached to his belt, he's got a big old wad of cheese. They're a lot of fun. They're gross. They're disgusting, but in the very best of ways. Now, you'll notice there's some pegs on the bottom of his pizza thrower. You simply plug in the nunchucks like so, give him his cheese grate and gun, <laughs> which is just Awesome, and then you're all set to load up some pizzas. Now keep in mind, you can put all six pizzas in his back at once, but you simply put it in, pull back on his arm right here, and fire, and there you go. It's as simple as that, and I absolutely love it. Heck, I'll even shoot one at the camera for you. There you go, all in slow motion. It's simple, it's effective, it's totally the Ninja Turtles. And again, like I said, it's a pizza thrower that's built in, no batteries, Nothing like that. The articulation is very simple, but effective. It just looks good. These are little pieces of art 
right there on your shelf. And I couldn't be happier to have these in the old collection. And next up, we have Leonardo. And if you thought Michelangelo had some really cool accessories, well, take a gander at Leo's Garlic Grindin' Powder Blaster, right? Of course, that's exactly what it is. You have his crusty katana and his smelly pizza belts, right? <laughs> sure, why not? These do connect, as you can see, one ports into the other, and that you will be applying this to Leo's pizza launcher. But I'll show you all that in just a second. It's just cool. I love the way these things just work together. You got the pizza right there, six of them, and Leonardo himself. Leonardo... Looks like he's been hitting that pizza pretty hard. He's biting onto his tongue right there. His tongue's all hanging out. He's got a cheeseburger pizza or whatever going on on the top. Suspenders holding it up. It's just cool. I love the eyes. Everything looks good. Again, they're very much in the vein of the Simpsons too, right? Have that wackadoo-ness. You got the pizza port right there on his back. You got a little tail. Nicely sculpted elements every which way. And on the back right here, whereas Mikey had a cheese wheel, you got two Ninja Turtles scarfing down on a pizza. Weird, but definitely cool, I will say. But yeah, for the most part, everything else is the same as far as the body type goes. It's just that every turtle has a different pizza launcher, which that's a nice differentiation point, I will tell you that. On the side of the pizza launcher, you'll notice the peg right there, and that's where his weapon accessory will fit in, like so, easy peasy. I wouldn't say he's necessarily gonna hold it perfectly, but you can get his hand up and Kind of fidget around with it so that it looks like he's, in a way, holding the katana. Get that garlic blaster going in his other hand. Man, that looks cool. All the different weapons with these turtles just look rad. And yeah, grab yourself a pizza, load them up, and fire. And boom, there you go. <laughs> nice and slow motion so you can see it. Trust me, I got a segment coming up. We'll, we'll go to town on some enemies. But very cool, Leonardo. And then... Because we don't have Donnie to look at, last but not least, Raphael. Now, Raphael, he's going to come with several accessories. This is his tomato sauce side. He only gets one of them, just like the oversized turtles, right? You have his saucy pizza belt, which attaches. And then you have his overcooked crosshairs eyesight, which is a nice addition. I really like how this attaches and looks on the figure, along with his sauce splattering gun, right? <laughs> That's very cool. A little bit of purple sauce oozing out right there. You got the pizzas, six of them. And then, of course, Raphael himself. And I like that instead of a pizza launcher, you basically have an oven launcher this time around. Which, again, nice differentiation. And I will say that he fares a lot better in the paint department than the other two turtles. It's not like, wow, they did a great job. It's just like, well, that looks a lot better. You got stickers galore all over the oven. Caution. 450,000 degrees. <laughs> but right here, I like this little back part right here. You have a uh, Pac-Man turtle doing his breast like waka 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 kind of thing. So definitely dig that. Very cool overall, nice sculpt. Pretty much the exact same, right, in many ways, just a different head portrait. But you get the same exact articulation. It'll go left, it'll go right, arms will go up. You get the idea. We're ready to throw some pizzas out, right? But before we can do that, we gotta put the scope right there on the top. I like that. I like that how it attaches. You got his side right there. I always felt it best to put the arm down and then he can actually hold on to it. That looks cool along with the sauce splattering gun. And you can rotate the wrist as well if you want to go ahead and get a good pose going for these turtles. Load them up with a pizza and fire right at the camera, right? <laughs> I love these things. So simplistic, but dang, these are fun. Again, I can't believe I didn't have these as a kid and to look at them all in comparison with say a donatello figure these are very oversized now these are going to set you back around the 15 dollars mark and i have to say for a retro figure for all the accessories for the functionality of it i would say that's a that's a nice sweet price for a retro figure definitely worth it and just to show you the various scales with these turtles the original leonardo from the very first wave of playmates and then on to the NECA Turtles cartoon series, the movie series, and Super 7's Playmates reissues, along with these giant-sized turtles, which we've already looked at. So you get a nice smattering of Ninja Turtles. And to be honest, it doesn't even begin to explain why in the world I have so many dang Ninja Turtles 
in my collection. But can you really have too many, I ask you? But I'll tell you this. Let's load up this Michelangelo, right? Let's put all six pizzas right in his back. And we're going to have some fun here and destroy some mousers and a foot soldier. And I'm just going to go hog wild. So three, two, one. Boom. Look at that. Just took it right out. <laughs> the aim on this is pretty good. I got to say, just taking mousers out left and right. That's the fun of these things. I'll mix that. There you go. And not so much on the foot soldier. See, those naked toys are pretty sturdy. But you get the idea. There's a lot of fun to be had here. I'm all out of pizzas. But six is definitely the number to fit. And you can always just kick the foot soldier to knock him out. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Playmates Toys Walmart exclusive. The Pizza Toss and Turtles. Mikey, Leo, and Raph. Unfortunately, no Donatello as of right now. Fingers crossed. He's on his way. And thank you again to Playmates for sending these out for the purposes of this video. This is good old-fashioned, goofy, weirdo, TMNT fun brought back to life in 2023. And I couldn't be more stoked, especially since I've never had these, never had them in my collection. It's something new. It's something exciting while still being excessively retro i love being able to put all the pizzas in the back you got your built-in pizza thrower you got all the wackadoo weapons it's a lot of fun so you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything retro pizza toss and turtles so i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember now you just need some good target practice right you got to set up some bad guys like i did foot soldiers mousers baxter stockman's Sky's the limits. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.